If I can visualize the end product, I can backtrack in my mind and make a visual blueprint of how everything comes together. My name is Tristan Eaton, and I'm a Los Angeles-based painter and muralist. Intel, Marvel, and Square Enix have asked me to create a bunch of art to promote this amazing new Avengers video game. That art is gonna be a direct inspiration for these PC modders who are gonna be creating one-of-a-kind modded PCs inspired by my art. I'm excited to see how they run with it. Uh, hey, Ron, how's it going? Good, how you doing? Good, man. It's very exciting you're gonna be working on Captain America. How do you feel about that? Are you excited? Extremely excited. When Intel approached us, geez, a year back, first thing I said is, I want Captain. Hey, give me Captain. <laughs> well, I've been a big fan of Captain America since I was very little. And I used to run around the neighborhood and I would sneak through the grass and take people's towels off their clothesline and clip it on my back and run around the neighborhood and pretending like I'm some superhero. Grew up being a painter and a sculptor and I just wanted to do something new. I mean, I had no idea that there was this whole community of PC modders that were customizing their PCs. I put everything into my projects. I'm like, everything is hand built, hand sculpted. The attention to detail for me is everything. When they look at it, they can actually feel like this is something that's part of the Marvel Universe, not something that was just bought off a shelf and put on a table with a PC inside of it. There's a statue of Captain America in the game. The base for that might be a nice inspiration for the base of this. Exactly, here's Captain. Oh boy, super cool. I'm proud to be an American, and he exemplifies that for me. It's a character that's hard work pays off, and you do the right thing. That's what it's all about. I think that looks pretty good. Challenges is taking Tristan's artwork that he painted on a 10-foot canvas and bringing that down to scale to fit on a 24-inch shield to get all that detail and preserve his artwork. The shield itself, it's pretty emblematic of Captain America. He stands behind that in battle and uses it as an offensive weapon. There's a couple approaches that you can do with the shield to take one of those kids' snow sled because it's the perfect size of a shield. It's a 24-inch frame, has uh, has the perfect dome to it. It's basically a shield. So I just printed out these uh, vinyl prints here. I'm just going to try to create a template so I can start the painting on the shield do a quick mock-up of how it's gonna look before I actually get into mixing paint. Carve it down, um, do all the body work all over the top of it, and then paint the artwork over the top of it. It's a really quick, easy way to do it. In the mock-up, uh, we had some rocks that go around the base, around the front of the shield. We need to go ahead and attach those rocks uh, to the base. Those rocks are gonna act as a brace to hold the shield in place. And here's our 10th uh, generation Core i9 processor, limited edition Avengers CPU provided by Intel. We'll go ahead and start building out the system. Let's go ahead and get the memory installed. Just snaps into place. I'm happy that we decided to go with the shield. It turned out beautiful. You know, the shield itself, it's everything that he stands for. 